like a broken record I have said over and over again in these episodes, in this podcast, that there is no other reason as to why we are alive as a human race other than productivity. You cannot find me another reason as to why you are breathing in and breathing out. For what purpose? You came here, I came here, so that we can be productive. If you read the Bible, go back to the Bible, we're given the commandment. The very first commandment man is given is to be fruitful. Multiply, fill the earth, subdue it, have dominion on it, and so on. And that means that the only thing that we are supposed to do, the reason as to why we were created, it is to be productive. And therefore, we're discussing in these episodes, how can we look at the day and become productive in this day, removing this day, stripping it of all these other expectations of fear, embarrassment, and all those things. What can we do in the day so that we can be the most productive? Whether we're going to be paid for it or not, doesn't matter. The question is, when it comes to the end of the day and you ask yourself, have I been productive today? Was that my best today? The answer should be yes. So those are the concepts that I want us to look at in these episodes. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namalik. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So the idea of being productive and the idea of looking at at a day and counting the things that you expended your energies on, the input that you had, has a connotation to people that you are just being too hard on yourself, you're just being too intense on yourself and you're not fun, you're not adventurous. I'm not talking about just, you know, that kind of a lifestyle where you don't have fun and so on. It doesn't mean that there is no fun in life. It doesn't mean that there is no comfort in life. It doesn't mean that there is no adventure in life. Because you are productive. Productivity does not seclude fun, adventure, recreation, and rest. In fact, productivity is so important, so much so that rest is a command. Just like productivity is. Rest is a command to the human being. That you must rest after seven days of working. It is a command. If you subscribe to the scriptures in the Bible, that you're supposed to rest. The, my point I'm making today is this, that productivity is important, rest is important. Nobody should cheat you that one is more important than the other. Nobody should sacrifice one over the altar of another. Productivity is important, rest is important, recuperation is important, connection is important, fun is important, so on and so forth. Our problem is lack of balance. That's why people normally, have, and it's, it's even a, it become a corporate buzzword, work-life balance. Huh? How do I balance my work and my life? We compartmentalize life to such an extent that we're thinking that one thing is being concentrated on the more than the other. I, I, even schools are going that way, by the way. Kids go to school and instead of balancing, playing and studying, they are just studying from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. There's no balance in there. Why are we doing that? We're doing that because we have a mentality that has been changed and it's been warped. A mentality that, you know, we're supposed to make it in life. We're supposed to qualify ourselves and so on and make it in life. And we're supposed to have a cozy life. And so we spend a lot of energy trying to get a cozy life. We've forgotten that the essence of life is productivity. And productivity doesn't mean getting things out of life. Productivity means creating things transforming life, bringing impact on the face of the earth. That's what productivity is all about. It's about giving of ourselves. It's about giving us of our talents, giving of our ideas, giving of our hard work, blood, sweat, and tears so that you can make this world a better place, so that you can transform the things that we have, the things that we found, we should make them better. If you live in a place and you're a human being, you should make that place that you live in better. 
That's why the human being as a collective force, we've been always innovating, coming up with things and so on and so forth, which is productivity and allowed it. But we cannot sacrifice one on the altar of another. I'm discussing in this episode the issue of using today, this particular day that you have been given. You are listening to me today. You're not listening to me tomorrow because tomorrow is not there. You don't know if tomorrow is going to be there. But today, this is the day that you've been given. This day, today, these 24 hours. We are living in intervals of 24 hours. And before you know it, we have 70 years that we've been living. And we did not we not live those 70 years at once. One at a time. And guess what? The one day is a critical day. When you come of age and you realize that you're supposed to be implementing this idea you're supposed to be giving back into this world you're supposed to be creative enough and supposed to be cultivating and growing your capacity then it comes to you that today matters what i do today is going to contribute to tomorrow i have a bad tomorrow if i have a bad today if i don't have input today my tomorrow is going to be as good as the input that i have in today so the question would be what can we do today to become productive? And let me just, even as I talk about the concepts of living a day at a time, there's this thing we call bit by bit, brick by brick. We build our lives bit by bit. See, the, if you have the illusion that you're going to get a breakthrough at one point in time, in fact, we, we spend, if you look at the, the prayer languages that we have, the prayer requests that we make, God give me a breakthrough for this. God give me a breakthrough for that. Meanwhile, the day you're praying for the breakthrough does not connect to the input you're having towards that breakthrough. You want a breakthrough to become whatever it is that you want to become, but what are you doing towards it? And there's this illusion that if I'm going to be given a breakthrough, I don't need to work for it because it's a God-given miracle. Forget it. God wants you to be productive. And God honors systems and processes. In fact, God honors this thing called maturity. It says in the fullness of time. That's what the Bible talks about. It says in the fullness of time. Even God himself has seasons and dispensations and time frames. So one of the aspects that you need to have at the back of your mind when you're doing this day-by-day productivity is the idea that you build life and you build your productivity brick by brick, layer after layer. And therefore, one layer can look like it's the most obscure thing you're ever doing. When you do your first podcast, it is the most obscure thing, but you build on it. I did not do 684 episodes of my podcast in one day. I did not do them in one day. I did it day by day. And each day, remember we're talking about the importance of the day itself one day a period of 24 hours each day is important the problem we have in that concept is that we are looking always for what we can get in the moment we're looking at what can pay for my activity if i say hi and i connect to that guy is he going to give me business Instead of looking at life as a day-by-day input and then there's an honoring of processes until something comes to maturity, we want things instantly. We've created things that give us instant loans. (laughs) By the way, there's advertisement for instant loans. Instant food, instant marriage, instant pleasure. We, we, We want things done instantly, but the law of nature, principles in life, they abhor instant things and they abhor vacuums. And they abhor a straight line. Life abhors a straight line. Life wants to simmer. Life wants to mature. Life wants to honor processes. And the way you honor processes is to be productive in the day. Brick by brick, bit by bit, layer by layer. And the greatest misconception we have out there is that I need more time. Huh? I need more time. I used to do this sometimes when I used to lead uh, some uh, prayer on uh, radio. It would be so beautiful. I would would, would always tell the people, we need more time with this. The illusion that we have, friends, is that we need more time. God was okay by creating 24 hours. We don't need more time. In order to do something, we don't need more time. I agree that at some level there are some 
you know there's just so much we can do in a period of 24 hours we need to extend ourselves and so maybe get some help and so on however i contend that it is not the normal this idea of overworking is not the normal at times we have projects that literally take away most of our time but once deployed however we get our time back the way forward here is to allocate few minutes each day to develop a specific aspect of your talent or your skill or your gift or your focus or your agency something that you're focusing on my point is simply this that don't be overwhelmed in this day wanting to finish the project wanting to know how to touch type in one day of asking wanting to know how to play the guitar in one day be patient be patient allocate it time and the moment you allocate time for an activity knowing the concept of maturity knowing the concept that you're building brick by brick make sure that every brick that you're building is well backed it is hard it is of high quality now the analogy there is the day make sure that the day when you look back at the end of the day you ask yourself was i productive today was did i expend what did i leave behind there is nothing i left behind i expended my energy i expended my thought patterns i thought i planned i executed i did the best my energy i am swapped i am i mean i am so tired because i worked and i was productive then you have your 12 hours okay 8 hours they say to rest to recuperate to recharge a powerful thing by the way why do we have sleep we have sleep so that we can recharge and then the following day guess what we go back again and we have the day to be productive one more time so we go back there once again and we do it and then we rest and we go back one more time we're building brick by brick but the question is how healthy is each brick that is the most important question and the point is that today should be the most important day for your life to be productive and therefore you need to milk as much productivity out of this day as you possibly can that is how life is going to be lived there is no other way there is no other reason as to why you and I are on the face of the earth we are here so that we can become productive so let us be productive today forget about tomorrow today bye bye A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.